Victory Gardens were first promoted during World War I, a century ago, as a way for ordinary citizens to contribute to the war effort. They were revived in World War II, and they continue to teach lessons today. The students at Nelson County High School not only planted a Victory Garden in the fall of 2017, they won first place at a State Fair of Virginia student horticulture competition. Victory Gardens are the perfect um, example of sustainable agriculture. Victory Garden was to produce and raise food during World War II when mass-produced uh, crops were being sent overseas probably for rations in the military and that kind of thing. Um, it was a way for people back home to produce their own food and be able to sustain themselves. It was a good experience to know how to grow a garden and especially later in life when you need to teach your kids and be able to carry on the tradition so it'll keep going in the future. More than 20 million victory gardens were planted during World War II according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. These gardens produced an estimated 9 to 10 million tons of fruit and vegetables, equaling the amount of commercial production. Most communities relied on their local extension agents and volunteers to help gardeners succeed. Those lessons still resonate today. In 2017, eight high school horticulture classes entered the Victory Garden Exhibition Contest at the State Fair of Virginia. Margaret Seaman was in charge of the Nelson County students, which won the Blue Ribbon. Her students had to not only grow the vegetables, but figure out how to transport them, just like their great-grandparents did. Because we had to raise it here and then transport it to the state fair, that provided a little bit of a difficulty in how are, how are you going to do that and make it look like a real garden and not a raised bed garden. So one of the things we did, we, we grew them in big tubs, and they took care of all the vegetables. Uh, throughout all of August and September and then we transported everything down there. We set up the background which that was that was something. Um, after that we put up the fence and then we put all the plants in where they needed to be and did it all from there. Bacon, butter and sugar were rationed back in 1940. That was followed by the rationing of meat, tea, jam, biscuits, breakfast cereals, cheese, eggs, lard, milk, and canned and dried fruit. Fresh vegetables and fruit weren't rationed at the time, but supplies were limited. So the project stressed self-reliance. The project for the Victory Garden showed students essentially, this is what growing your own food looks like, okay? This is how you do it. This is the examples of how it's done and what it will look like in the end, what it looks like when it's growing. Um, Teaching students how to grow food or teaching them where their food comes from is the ultimate goal of agricultural education, I would say, would be safe to say. And that's what our programs are here in horticulture and production agriculture. Uh, I'd say my favorite part was um, watching the plants grow from seeds up until they grew it all the way up. And building the house was pretty fun about it, too. That was a pretty good project. The Student Victory Garden contained a lot of different vegetables and was grown in the fall, similar to home gardens during the war years. Gardening is the nation's number one hobby, and that's true even in farm country. A good amount of people around here have gardens. We are in rural Nelson County, um, and a lot of people can their food from their, their garden. So if you notice in the picture, we have a, it's the back of a house, but looking into a pantry, and it's lined with canned foods that were canned from the summer crops. And so we, we tried to even look into it as planning ahead for what was coming in the winter. If you plant it yourself, you can just go out to the garden and pick it and cook it right there in your house. The Nelson County High School students that worked on the Victory Garden Project learned how to grow sustainable food and how to succeed in a competition with students from across the state. Victory Gardening is a timeless pastime being introduced to the next generation with a reminder that a regular food supply is never guaranteed. In Nelson County, Virginia, this is Dave Miller.